Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of the WowTac W1, a compact EDC flashlight that is also budget friendly. You are at the We All Juggle Knives channel. All right, and for your viewing pleasure in the background, got my uh, Cold Steel Chris Voyager. All right, all relevant links will be in the text description box to WowTac budget flashlights, and I'll include all the Voyagers too. Okay, let's check out the stats on this. So as you can see, it has five brightness levels and one special mode, which is the strobe. Right, and you can see all the run times there. So the maximum lumens, 562 lumens. The max beam distance, 126 meters. All right, so pretty decent. Now, as soon as it stops raining, I'm going to be getting out there and doing probably a bottle slicing video with that fine blade, right? But yeah, if you want one of those, they're on Amazon right now. Now, as for the light, WowTac W1, as you see, it's got a side switch. It's got crosshatch texturing. It is USB rechargeable. That's the uh, port cover. Right, it's got an orange peel reflector. See that there? Now this has a magnetic base, my Swiss tool. It's there. You can use it as a kind of like a little area light, stick it someplace convenient. Now this comes with a spare port cover as well as O-rings, a USB to micro USB recharging cable. It comes with that removable pocket clip and it comes with a battery as well right and that battery will be a 16 uh, 340 lithium ion battery that is rechargeable with the light to turn the light on you press the side switch to turn it off you press the side switch once the light is on if you press and hold it will cycle through low medium and high let's do that now there you go now you can shortcut to turbo with a double tap and that is the turbo it's pretty nice a triple tap will give you strobe alright warning we're gonna strobe and that's the strobe now when light is off if you long press you will shortcut to an ultra low mode there you go now when it is in that ultra low mode if you long press again you will get to lockout mode. All right, so it's now locked. Now, if you long press again, all right, now it is unlocked. And in order to recharge that battery in the light, you just plug that charging cable into any power source. In that case, that's a power bank. All right, and when it is recharging, this will glow red. I don't know if you can see it with the lights, but that's red under there. And when it's fully charged, that will be blue. At this time, I'm going to roll in my outdoor testing and demonstration footage. All right, I'm not going to go to the sports field because this is not meant to be an ultra long range light, but I will definitely go to Frog Creek. And after that, we'll come back for final thoughts on this WowTac. Okay, YouTube, we're out here on the testing board. This is the low mode. Let's cycle through the modes. And let's go turbo. That's pretty bright. That is the turbo mode. All right, warning, we're going to strobe you. All right, let's do the firefly mode. That's the firefly mode. Let's do turbo again. And here is the lit side switch, blue. All right, YouTube, I'm on the road testing out this WowTac flashlight. Let's do full turbo. All right, where am I? This is a non-residential road, by the way. There are, there are no houses and no humans on this road, okay? Because I'm doing the whole social distance thing. All right, so let's walk around with this, light your path. Let's see, let's see what you would see if you're on this country road. Let's go over here. 
This light does pretty well for, uh, for a small light. There's all kind of deer and raccoons in this area, but none of them tonight. All right, and without the light, this is what you see. Nothing. Right, hold on, focus. Pretty good. Lights up that whole road. All right, here is a top view of the beam shot of this WowTac flashlight. Nice angles there. All right, YouTube, we are overlooking Frog Creek with this WowTac flashlight. The water is flowing pretty well. You see that? Down the creek, the trees, the opposite bank, the treetops. Yes, yeah, not bad at all for such a compact flashlight. All right, so that's the wow tack at Frog Creek. Okay, I'm up in the second story window with this wow tack light. Here it is overlooking the, uh, the yard and the neighbor's yard. Let's see, where's the, there's the wood pile down there. And that noise is actually the neighbor's furnace. Hold on, focus. All right, so not so bad for such a, a small light. I mean, without the light, that's what you see without the light, not much. Well, all right, YouTube, that is the backyard security mission with this WowTac flashlight from the second story window. All right, YouTube, we are back. I hope you enjoyed that little demo. So what are my final thoughts on this? Look, it, it's all about the price. Here, you can see a comparison with the Mech Army PT-16 and uh, that is an old 4.7s Mini ML. All right, let's talk prices. First of all, the newest version of the 4.7s Mini, which would be the 4.7s uh, Turbo Mini Mark III, basically the newest version of that, that's going for around $75 right now if you get it with the little charger, which everybody does. All right, so $75. The Mech Army is $65 right now. The Wow Tac is 25. So you could literally buy three of those Wow Tacs for the price of the uh, newest version of that four sevens, right? Now, the more expensive lights, yes, they have they are brighter, right? They that's uh round, that's like 900 lumens the newest version, that's uh 1100. Right? So they are brighter, but I mean, if you take the the max lumens and you divide it by the price. In other words, you know, how many lumens are you getting per dollar spent? Uh, the WowTac is actually giving you very strong value. Now, if you are a flashlight collector like me, if you just like, you know, a pocket rocket, the brightest thing, then yes, you can purchase the more expensive lights. However, most people, when they consider, you know, you could buy three WowTacs for one mini, most people start to think, you know, do I really need like nearly a thousand lumens on my keychain when if most people need that much light, they just carry a larger light, like rather than this category, right? So for most people, the WowTac would be basically the more sensible, uh, more budget friendly purchase. So my thoughts on the WowTac is just, you know, their whole marketing strategy is to give you a lot of use for a low price and this continues that that's why they've been very successful you know the the battery is included you don't need a separate charger all right so that's all good as far as the performance of the light uh, the max lumens is definitely definitely more than enough for something that could fit on your keychain 
it's compact and because they're not trying to max out the brightness, you know, they're not trying to give you a thousand lumens, it actually does not get nearly as hot as, for example, that PT-16. That, you know, that, that's over a thousand lumens in its turbo, but it gets hot so quickly that's really only like a burst mode. It's, you know, 20-30 seconds and that thing is scorching hot. The WowTac, it'll still get hot if you leave it in its highest mode, but not nearly as quickly as some of these uh, crazy bright lights. So that's good. It, it's got endurance. So I do recommend it as the budget play in this whole category of 16, 340 little EDC lights. All right. Oh, all the uh, relevant links will be in the text description box for the WowTox and Cold Steel Voyagers as well, because you need that. Stay tuned for that review. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.